<laughs> Welcome back. It's me, Swab. Um, it's been a while for me. I've had to take a break to do other stuff. All good stuff, all good stuff. But um, I'm now back and I'm delighted to be back. It's like summertime here in the UK. So why? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? I'm here to talk about your why. I'm here to talk about sense of purpose. I'm here to talk about meaningful activity. Did you know, did you know that in the University of San Diego in California, researchers have found that people with a strong sense of purpose experience less in the way of physical and mental health challenges. There's the concept of Ikigai, the Japanese concept of if we can find things that we're good at, things that we love, things that the world needs and things that we can get paid for, we'll be really happy. And I can tell you this from my own perspective, since I changed direction to become a mental health campaigner, changing the world or in trying to inspire the change in the world to mentally healthy workplace cultures, I, I've, I've realized that I found my purpose. And you know what? The episodes of depression that I get are less frequent and the depth of them uh, are less strong. And so, you know, I, one of the strong things about a sense of purpose for me is that it actually helps with my mental health challenge. Now that's a personal thing, but we can all benefit from finding our why, okay? We can all benefit from having a strong sense of purpose. And it's a kind of dynamic process. Um, it's, it's a process that requires energy and thought. And um, I've heard a quote of a strong rudder being required to stay on course. And of course, you know, our, our purpose can change too. Things like the global pandemic can affect our purpose. You know, many of us, if we're feeling very purposeful in work, might have had that changed, okay? Because of the way that we work. Some of us might not get a sense of purpose in work and need to find meaningful activity outside of work with our hobbies. So look, here's a few simple ideas to think about your sense of purpose. First of all, look at the work. Are you getting meaningful work? And we've talked about this before, but can you kind of do a bit of an audit to see whether your work is giving you a sense of purpose, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's meaningful for you? And it might not be, that's cool, but you might be able to tweak it to get more of the stuff that gives you purpose than uh, you are at the moment. So look at your workplace first, okay? Then think about other areas uh, of our lives where we might get some purpose. So learning is a great one. I attended this amazing conference on Friday of last week called Nudge Stock. I was fortunate enough to speak, but I listened throughout the day. And this is all about behavioral science, which is kind of connected to what I do, but not directly relevant. But my mind was blown, my mind was opened. This gave me a really strong sense of well-being. And actually I've been a nine since then because my mind has been opened and it's helped with my connections, with my conversations, lots of good stuff. So a sense of learning, helping others, that can give us a sense of purpose. Hobbies, um, I've, I've recently uh, reconnected with some old hobbies. I bought a basketball hoop um, and I've been shooting some hoops. I'm, I've, I've re-established my kind of DJing a little bit because these old hobbies give me a sense of meaning. Um, so just try to look at your life and the things that you've got going on and think, do, do you need to pull um, any more things in there to give you that sense of purpose? Volunteering is another good idea. Getting outside and connecting with people, um, having projects on the go. I know some people are really into their kind of creativity and DIY and that creative process is really important. So just have a think what sort of things you can do outside of the workplace to top up your purpose and your meaningful activity, okay? So welcome back. I'm so glad to be recording again. I'm hoping you're enjoying this series. It's Rob Stevenson. I'm a nine out of 10 today. How are you today? Thank you so much.